In September, the Mercer Report launched the Spread the Net Campus Challenge. We asked schools across Canada to fight malaria by raising money for Spread the Net to buy mosquito bed nets in Africa. Ten bucks buys one net and saves a life. And Dalhousie University in Halifax, Nova Scotia raised the most, over $17,000 on this campus alone. This week, the Mercer Report salutes Dalhousie and its war on mosquitoes. Okay, now I'm standing here with the three students who spearheaded the Spread the Net Dalhousie campaign. Hello, how are you? What's your name? I'm Hillary. I'm Hi, Hillary. Hillary. Keith. Hey, Keith. Victoria. Victoria. Okay, now why did you do this? I was watching the hour when George interviewed you, and I uh -huh. got excited, and I called Victoria, and then we hooked up with Keith, and we decided we could do this, and it wouldn't be that much of a challenge. So. Yeah. Now, what's amazing is, uh, you know, we announced a while ago that you guys had won when you had raised your, what's the total again? $17,000. And yet, you're still here selling t-shirts. You're still yeah, raising right. money. Beautiful shirts as They're well. Look at that. Nice. What's your name? Liam. Hi, Liam. How are you? How about right there? Beautiful. Look. There you go. Yay. Thank you. Thanks for supporting Spread the Net. No, I want a hug. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Now, who made the shirts? Uh, it's a company called Apathy Attire. And they're a local company? Yeah. So that's actually your own shirt there. This is mine. Yeah, we I get to take this one. To yes. Excellent. Thanks very much. I'll make sure I put 20 bucks okay. in the bin. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Thank you. And this is Mike Tipping. He's president of the Student Union here at Dalhousie. Hello, Mike. How are you? Good. Very good. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Good school. Well, we raised a lot of money for uh, bed nets, yeah. Yes, you did. Now, tell me tell me about the school. Uh, how many students? We've got about 15,500 students. That's um, huge. It's, it's big for the Maritimes. Mm -hmm. What about alumnus? Any famous alumnus we should be aware of? Oh, we got a ton of famous uh, alumni. Okay, so these are the yearbooks. What do we got here? Well, this appears to be a young Scott Bryson. Look at that shot. Destined for the opposition benches right there. Look at that. Oh, Alexa McDonough. Alexa Ann Shaw, as she was known then. Look, she's a hottie, isn't she? Who would have guessed a man with hair like that would grow up to make about $250 million and make Stephen Harper's life miserable every single day? Look at that. Danny Williams, Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador. He parts down the middle now. Probably a good development. And I've just bumped into Mike Paris, who's the president of the Law School Society, and, uh, and I'm thrilled to bump into you for two reasons. One, the Law School made a great, great contribution to spread the net. Yes, we did. And, uh, and plus, you have a yearbook that the nation has to see. Yes, now, what did. is this? This is... This is the uh, Dalhousie Law School yearbook from 1989. Oh, and, 1989. Uh, Good year. Exactly. Good year. Who went, who went in 89? Uh, well, I think we all know him better as Peter, but he, back then, he was going as Pete. Pete. Pete McKay. Pete McKay. Pete McKay. Pete. Oh, look, there's a picture of Pete McKay. Now, you know, you can always tell how popular a student is if they have their picture in other parts of the yearbook. Isn't that true? Absolutely. Is that him there? That's him there. Yeah. I, I don't understand what's happening in that photo. What's exactly... I don't know. Is that like... an interrogation of some sort? It looks like there's a, a giant a funnel and a hose. I think it's called a beer bong. A beer bong, is it? Thank you, and thanks for providing me with my own personal copy. And you're going to email me a copy. Oh, absolutely. Because I need that for my desktop. <laughs> now, you have a program where you can make beer. Uh, there is a history of beer making course, yes. And that's a credit. You get a credit for that? Yes, you do. So, uh, uh, why? I mean, beer is obviously an important part of the university education. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's also an important part of the economy. It's about $10 billion in certainly revenue. Is. It certainly is. Uh, just a bit more than milk. Mm -hmm. and, uh, really? More than milk? Is yeah. that unique to the Maritimes, or is that all no, of that's, Canada? that's all of Canada, yeah. What so, a country. What a great country. Now, are you just taking the single course, or are you specializing in this? I'm specializing. I'm doing a, a doctorate degree, actually. You're getting your PhD. I am, yeah. In stirring. And, and right now, in stirring, yes. So now, when you get a PhD in beer making, does that impress the girls? It, it sure does, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Spe specifically one girl's pretty impressed. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's actually my fiance. Oh, congratulations. And what does she do? Well, actually, she uh, I met her here. She was doing her master's in this... Uh... No, she has her master's in beer and you have your PhD. That's right. Master made in brewing. That is, that's one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard in my life. Well, congratulations Thanks to you and your fiance. Thank you. And I hope you make a lot of beer together. Well, we'll do. <laughs> And this is the president of the Engineering Society, Scott Wetton. Hi, Scott. How are you? Hi, Rick. How are you? Nice to see you. So what are the engineers doing? What are you up to these days? Well, in our hydraulics lab, we could maybe get you into some quicksand. You have quicksand? We have quicksand. Really? Again, explain to me why you have quicksand. It shows the difference of when the soil gets liquefied, buildings and stuff can actually sink into it. And we don't want that, right? We don't want that, no. Okay. So now oh, solid. I would build my castle here. But now, 
Let's liquefy the soil. Yeah, I am sinking. I'm not concerned. You know why I'm not concerned? Why is that? I know about quicksand. You know what happens? What happens? Once you get to here, Tonto shows up and pulls you out with a rope. <laughs> okay, I'm not liking this now. No, well, let's... Now I'm starting to get a little bit anxious. I feel like so you're taking my blood pressure now. Pretty much. Like it's... Everything is... It's squeezing back in. The soil's regaining its strength as the water drains. And it's going to crush my little weak legs. I don't think it'll crush them, but you're going to have a hard time getting out. That's the way quicksand works? Yep. So everything I learned about from Gilligan's Island is wrong. Not everything. And what else are you up to these days? Oh, uh, we also have a concrete toboggan. Do you do any work at all? Do you work? What's that weigh? Uh, 287 pounds. How fast has it gone? What was your fastest time? Uh, 40 kilometers an hour. 40 kilometers an hour. 40 clicks an hour. <laughs> okay, let's go. Better you than me. Aren't you coming? I'm not riding that. Cold. Oh my goodness. Didn't your mother ever tell you, don't sit on the cold concrete, you get the cold right up through you. I do nothing, right? Nothing, you'll be good. Okay. Hold on. No more right guys. And we're aiming directly for a tree. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully the brakes will work though. <laughs> That's okay, the hospital's just right there. Okay, let's go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. Hit a tree, we're gonna go through a tree. Oh, oh no, the tree, the tree. Oh. Oh. Yeah. All right, that was scary heading for the tree there for a minute. Uh, we knew what we were doing. Oh. They're crazy. Yeah, back inside, maybe. You're watching the Mercer Report on CBC. Spread the net, Val Housie. Yeah.